Okay, so we're going to be uploading 360 video into YouTube today. First thing I want to say before we get on to this, um, the camera I'm using is the Ricoh Theta. Now, whatever camera you've got, you're going to need the software that comes with it um, for the drivers or whatever. So the first thing you need is that, and then you need a viewer. Um, with the Theta, it's basically, you just use, I just use the basic app, um, we're on the Mac today, but it works just the same on the um, PC as well with Windows because I have that installed on my laptop and they look exactly the same. But once you've got that, what happens is you then open the files up. Because um, as you can see, this is a 360 video. Now let's play it. I've got the sound switched off, but it's a 360 video. Um, that, that's basically it. Now, if we go over to the file formats, we'll do an open just so you can see. When you get the um, files coming off the camera, uh, what they come in is this format, uh, just the MP4. You see the two lenses? That, that's how it comes off with the theatre in its own, the, the, this camera in its own version. So it that's the format coming off. It's MP4 with two lenses. Now, for YouTube, it wants them in this format. As you can see, it's got this minus ER. Now, to get this, it does it automatically. You don't actually have to do anything to it. All you do is you grab a video. Let's just grab that. As you can see, there's no ER film. But when I press open, it now creates, it takes that MP4. And it's now going to create the ER version for me. Uh, the, here's the output, you see. So that's that's going to do that for me. And we just leave that running. Now, <clears throat> we go over the, this, which is the, the meta tag. Um, what do you call it? Doo -doo -doo -doo. The 360 video metadata app for Mac or Windows, which is basically going to convert it again. Um, so it's suitable for the um, uploads for YouTube. So you need to download this and then install it. As you can see, I've still got my installing you know, uh, downloading here. So I'm going to be a little bit longer. My PC is running slow. There must be the kids must be on YouTube in the other room. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've now got the software we downloaded, the Spatial Media Metadata Injector. We want the, my video is spherical 360, so we tick yes. If your um, software it has spatial audio, which is space, or spatial, it basically gives you the, like the surround sound sort of thing from the direction it's coming from. But as you can see, you can't tick any of that anyway until we load a video. Um, we're just gonna find a little video from the ones we did earlier. Let me go in here. Uh, where's my camera stuff? There we go. Slide down at the bottom. Should have some videos somewhere around here. <coughs> yeah, that will do. Uh, see, that one's MP4. We don't actually want the MP4. Oh, it is. Yeah. See where it's got that minus ER? That's the one we want, which comes out in this shape. The ones that aren't that shape. I think we should have some still uploading, which is what I'm looking for, the little blue circles on Dropbox. Is it caught up with me now? Come on. No, that's not them. Ah, there we go. So, like here. That's, that's the other version. It's like the two lenses, you know, on the camera, the front and back one. I don't know what's front and back. Uh, well, I suppose the front one's the one with the on-off button. But anyway, so we're after the ones with the ER. See, as you can see here, uh, let's find one that's got the same name there. 56 minus ER. Uh, let's see. 
1255. Yeah, this is an easier one to do. 1255, 17 minus ER. There's another copy of it because I've been missing about a bit. So that's the original. That's, that's the copy. See the difference? So what we want, we could, suppose we could take that one and we'll take the ER version of it. Just press open. It's now loaded in here. Inject. And we're just going to throw it on the desktop. And it's Lamatima. And just save it. And that's basically it. There it is there. Now we double click on it. As you can see, it only took a couple of seconds. <laughs> As you can see, I can't really rotate or anything around in this because obviously QuickTime's not set up for it. Um, but it does mean that uploading to YouTube, it will be in the right format, um, which I'm currently doing with another video. So that's on its way up there. Um, thanks for watching.